field in the backcourt. Look at the stitch on that line. defense. Schroeder McFaggin out there on him. Look for Logan, middle of your screen. Now he runs inside. McElroy for Davis. Satterfield. Logan on the near side. They can't find him yet. Shot clock at six. Satterfield. Dang. He made the three. How did that ball go in? Cincinnati by one with 30 seconds to go. Calipari's going to let play continue here. No timeout. Foreman for Chetman. 20 seconds to go. Shot clock is off. Shamel Jones pulls up. Yes! 17 for him. Final 15 seconds. Memphis by one. Timeout Cincinnati. That's the strategy of coaching. Scott Calipari elected not to call the timeout. Keep the pressure on the defense. You got the ball. He runs his offense to perfection. He gets what he wants. A one-point lead. Cincinnati gets the ball back. They take the timeout with 10 points by go. Bob Huggins, a full timeout, a quick break. We'll be back to Memphis in a moment. Tigers on the Shamel Jones jumper, leading by one. Reset. Cincinnati out of timeouts. Possession arrow to Memphis. Tigers lead by one. UC with the ball. And Sports Center is next on ESPN as we're just beyond the top of the hour. More on the Denny Crump situation in Louisville. We'll have our peak performer, Shoulder Gate, Dan Patrick, and Stuart Scott standing by with Sports Center. Well, Conference USA, another tight one tonight. And so much at stake in these final 10.5 seconds. A possible number one seed in the tournament up for grabs. A first place tie for Cincinnati in the American if they can win it. Bob, I'm interested to see what Memphis does on defense when they come out of this huddle. You know the guy they're going to look for is Logan. They've got to look for him. And Satterfield's three a moment ago was his only basket of this half. So it comes down to the final 10.5. A new career high for Shamil Jones tonight. Nearly six times his average. A mid-court throw-in for Emmanuel McElroy. First thing you got to do is get the ball in bounds. Here they go. They do back to Satterfield. McFaggot on him. Almost losing it. Satterfield looking to score. He does. He made it. With all all and two seconds. baskets. Less than a second to go. And Satterfield with five points in the last minute for Cincinnati. And the Memphis crowd is stunned. How about those two baskets by Kenny Satterfield? Well, you talk about pressure. I mean, the three he made was amazing. He comes right back again with one right off the elbow. Put it in his hands and let him operate. Logan, you see bottom of his screen trying to get open. He comes right to the elbow, stops, backs up, and launches. Boy, is that a big shot. All right, Larry. 0.9 seconds to go when Kenny Satterfield shot. Look at that. Went right through the net. What in the world can Memphis do with less than one second remaining? It's got to be a long court, 70, 80 foot pass, and an immediate turnaround and shot. Boy, Bob Huggins is club, particularly Kenny Satterfield, just strong under pressure. The crowd definitely quiet at the pyramid now. They saw their club score with 10.5 seconds to go on the Shamel Jones jumper. And then. 9.6 seconds later with less than a second to go Kenny Satterfield gives Cincinnati what could be their biggest conference win of the year you know Bob all year long you watch a guy like Kenny Satterfield play and you say well he does a lot of things but he defends and he passes the ball well but what do they do when they need a basket they go to the guy that passes the ball the most for them for two big buckets well you mentioned earlier it takes two to tango to be a great backcourt and finally Kenny Satterfield got his he only has 11 points on the night but five of them in the last minute let's see if uh, Bob Huggins put somebody on the ball well you would think one of his big guys well it looks like he's gonna put five on four down the floor there's nobody on Shamel Jones who's throwing the ball in he's gonna go for double coverage down the floor Shamel Jones has to throw it the length of the floor. They've got a timeout left, and he takes it. Nice coverage by Cincinnati. 
And now they have 30 more seconds to decide what they're going to do. It's been a great game tonight. I it mean, takes both, both these clubs have really played well. It's going to take a Christian Leitner miracle here for Memphis to win it like Duke did against Kentucky. Well, they've almost got to make sure that the ball gets in the hands of the guy that's going to shoot immediately. They don't have time for a pass. They've got to get it to the guy that's going to shoot. And, of course, you got the friendly guy over here in Memphis who's controlling that timer, too. I mean, yeah. that's important. Well, shoulder gate is the Mike Sirotka situation traded to Toronto. And they're not at all happy about his situation. They're saying he was some damaged goods, huh? That was a big trade, too. Here we go. Jamel Jones to throw it in. Foreman on the near side, right in front of our table. And then three other Tigers down the floor. There's the sprint. He's got to throw it. There it goes. Ball twisting to the sideline. No time off the clock. It never came in bounds. And now Cincinnati will throw it in. Yeah, but they'll get it back where the ball came in. It went out of bounds without being touched. So it's their ball underneath their basket. So barring some terrible mistake by Cincinnati, this thing is over. There's no time for any timeouts. All they need is somebody to touch it. Satterfield to throw the ball in. Cincinnati less than a tick away from a big win and a foul on Shamel Jones without the ball coming in. And Cincinnati will shoot free throws now. It's the only thing they could do, and they fouled the guy they wanted to foul, and Donald Little. Four fouls on uh, Shamel Jones. Donald Little, who's not had a good night shooting free throws at the line. Nine tenths of a second to go still. Both these coaches want to gather their teams around them and talk to them some more. And Scott Clocker and Jim Burke trying hey. to get them on the floor and say, come on, let's go, we're hey, playing. Nobody fouled out. They can't do it. Here's Donald Little. He misses. There's the touch. Buster goes off. The shot's not in time. And Cincinnati escapes with a huge 66-65 win at a very quiet and stunned Memphis Pyramid. Sports Center coming up next for Larry Conley and our entire ESPN crew, Bob Carpenter. Hope you enjoyed a nail-biter in Conference USA. Good